today I'm gonna share with you five tips that will take you one step closer to get over your ex. Hi, I'm Emma Latapi. I'm the creator behind Get Over Him, Please. For the last seven years, I've been working and researching on the process we go through after a breakup. Today, I'm gonna share with you five simple tips that will get you one step closer to get over your ex. The first tip is not only a tip, but a rule. Zero contact. You might have the urge or want to contact your ex after a breakup, but I don't recommend this at all. Think of this process as a detox. I recommend at least 90 days, but in my experience, it works best nine months. What this zero contact means? It means not calling, not texting, nor answering, and not checking your ex's social media. It might be hard at first, but it gets easier. Tip number two, journaling. When we go after a breakup, our head can be a mess and we have thoughts all over and we can even have intrusive thoughts or obsessive thoughts. One of the areas that I work the most with my clients is journaling. It will help you because maybe while you're at work or in the middle of the night and you can't go to sleep, writing everything down will help you get some clarity and also it will help you to brief everything you're going through. So I really recommend journaling. Also, after a breakup, once you're over your ex, you can go back and it will help you to read your process and will help you in other grieving process. Tip number three, exercise. I recommend at least three times a week for 30 minutes. It could look like going on a walk or maybe taking a dancing lesson or it could be a workout session at the gym. It's up to you, but move your body. It really helps when we start moving our body when after a breakup. Tip number four, meditation. There are so many benefits of meditation. And in my experience, after a breakup, it's amazing. Because after a breakup, we can get these intrusive thoughts or we can start thinking of the memories that we have with our ex or what our ex is doing. Meditation will not only help you stay calm, but it will help you practice your attention. You can choose what to focus on. Focus on what helps you, not on your ex, and meditation will help you to get there. Tip number five, be grateful. I used to think that in order to be grateful, everything had to be great, but turns out good things are happening all the time, including after a breakup. Start focusing on what you already appreciate. Maybe you appreciate your family, your friends, your house, even your bed. Start focusing on what you have today that you're grateful for. Actually, gratitude is the antidote to any uncomfortable emotion or feeling. You can't be angry and grateful at the same time. You can't be sad and grateful at the same time. Start practicing gratitude today. It's one of the things that I know it works the most after a breakup. Now you know, these five tips might be a little challenging at first as any new change, but I really recommend following them and this will get you closer to the best version of yourself. Breakups are hard, but they're also a great opportunity to work on yourself and become that version of yourself that you've always wanted to be. I hope these tips help you during your breakup process and I wish you a great transformation. See you next time.